Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. Now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. Now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and this is another small side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now the anti capsule is incised with a 26 case bent needle cystitome and a capsular tag is raised now to have a better visibility this is 2% ASPMC applied over the cornea and uh, the visibility has improved a lot. Now I hold the capsular tag with this uterata forceps, go anticlockwise and complete the continuous curvilinear capsular axis. This is an ideal sized axis of about 5 millimeter and now hydro dissection is done we have seen the fluid wave went from this side to the other side the nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated now 2% ASPMC is injected again to fill up the anterior chamber and then the tip of the phaco handpiece the tip of the phaco needle is introduced into the anterior chamber and this is a chopper designed by me it is just like a Sinsky hook some superficial cortical lens matter is removed now in this video I want to emphasize the importance of holding the nucleus firmly before attempting direct chop you must hold the nucleus very firmly and you should taste that it is not moving at all and in this kind of density in this grade 3 nuclear sclerosis you can hold the nucleus right at the center very firmly and chop it see you should hold it very nicely and chop and in if the cataract of, is of this consistency medium density cataract nuclear sclerosis of about grade 3 you can emulsify the free nuclear fragments as you chop it uh, as you make it free from the main mass this is the other hemineucleus it is also held very nicely like this and it is chopped so always hold the nucleus very nicely and unless you have held the nucleus very firmly don't try direct chop chop only when you have hold you have held it very firmly and now this is the epinucleus always be very careful when you try to hold the epinucleus many a time posterior capsular rent occurs as you try to hold the epinucleus you can come out, inject some visco behind the epinucleus and do it more safely. Aspirate the epinuclear shell more safely. In this case, I am using this 23 gauze Simco cannula as a coaxial IA. And I could remove the cortex all around, 360 degree cortex I could remove through the main incision itself this is a bit of polishing of the posterior capsule actually the posterior capsule is very nicely cleaned there are no cells on the posterior capsule and nucleus and epinucleus and cortical cleanup is done by this time very nicely and now 2% SPMC is injected to fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber 
in this case we have selected where intraocular lens we are on 50 this is a beautiful preloaded system the lens is delivered screwing the piston and now the lens is placed 180 degree the haptics are placed about 90 degree away from the main incision so that I can go behind the eye well for visco clean up very nicely here it is I've gone behind the eye well cleaning the debris behind the eye well and irrigating some fluid so that visco which is trapped behind the eye well comes out some more cleaning of the anterior chamber and then this is the irrigating probe of bimanual irrigation aspiration irrigating the anterior chamber first then going behind the eye wheel irrigating the back always irrigate the back it has two purposes one is it will remove the visco trapped behind the eye well. Another thing is it will polish the posterior capsule a bit more. And now this is a bit of moxifluxus in. Now the side port is hydrated nicely with BSS and the side port is closed the other side port is closed because we have not used it much now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is formed very nicely now the integrity of the wounds are checked with a cotton taped Janssen bard few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Always remember, you have to hold the nucleus very firmly before you attempt direct chop. If the cataract is of medium density, hold it at the center. If it is harder, cross the center. Hold it midway between the center and the opposite equator and then try chopping. Try submarine chop. It's a very good technique. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.